What what can you say about your defense today? Was it, I mean, in terms of where it's been this season, is this one of the best performances? You know, the, if you look at the first time we played them, they only had 51 um, really late in the game. And they scored, obviously, the last 12 points and whatever it was, uh, 15 of the last, uh, you know, 15 at last 19 or whatever to get a win. Tonight you hold them to 38. They didn't get to 40 till it was three-something left. And obviously, you know, we kind of screwed up down the stretch and, you know, broke down a little bit, maybe tired, you know, just all you through switch, stay in front of them, make them make a t tough shot. But, you know, we talked about energy and effort. That was our number one thing on the board. I thought it was great effort, turn them over. They're one of the best teams taking care of the ball in the country. I think fourth turnovers, you get 19, you get 18 points off those turnovers. Uh, we were very, very active. We talked about playing defense without fouling. They kept in the game in the first half with 10 free throw attempts. Second half, you know, Xavier files the three at the end, but before that, they really hadn't got to the free throw line, so we did a better job. And then just rebounding, make, keep, making sure they didn't get second chance opportunities. And uh, I thought we did all those things. We were very, very active, you know, just again, 12 steals. You know, Xavier with four, uh, you know, Dejuan led us on to play hard. And so it was, it was a great defensive effort uh, for our guys. And happy for them, happy to get a win. Uh, I thought we played, you know, it, we're, you know, we Wyatt and Stan, I think Stan was talking about it. He was on with somebody, and, and they asked him what about K-State. And, and Stan said they're probably right there with a bunch of other teams in the league. And the guy said, what do you mean? And, and they're one in six. Well, if you study the scores, obviously we've been close. And we've been right there with, you know, everybody. We just haven't been able to get over the hump. We were a little better tonight. Thought we moved the ball better. Uh, obviously, Mike stepped up. It was great for him to – step up and make some big shots and finally get somebody to make a couple free throws down the stretch. But, uh, you know, we're, we're a good team. We just, we got to learn to finish games. We got to learn to take care of the ball and the gut check parts. And uh, if we can do that down the stretch, who knows what can happen. But right now, we, our whole thing is one game at a time, one possession at a time. And right now, all we can worry about is West Virginia. Mike, how did it feel to be such a big contributor tonight, you know, get, given – the concussion and everything you've you've been through to be able to really help the team tonight and to a tight win. Honestly, it just it just felt uh, it felt great to be out there, be out there with my my, my brothers and whatnot, and uh, I just try to do my part and do my best to help the team win, and we were able to win tonight, which we very much needed. And Bruce, you you guys entered the night uh, two and seven in games decided by single digits. Last year, you guys were eleven and four. Before that, twelve and five. Obviously, a little uncharacteristic this season. How did it feel to be able to be on the winning side of a close game? Well, it shouldn't have been close. That's I'm a little disappointed in that. But you know, once they cut it to six, now get the ball in bounds, take care of it. You know, I said Mike made a couple free throws. Obviously, Dejuan, nice learning lesson for him, and still get a win. Makes an unbelievable steal. You know, it's a minute left, and you know you can push it back to. I think he could have pushed it back to to ten or so, whatever it was, ten or eleven. And he, uh, he misses the dunk. Now they go down, and it changes a lot with that. And, um, but, it, it, you know, we, we have – obviously, it's been frustrating. It's been disappointing. We haven't finished games. Tonight we made some big shots when they made a little push at us, and we got the stops. And hopefully a learning lesson, keep getting – never too late to improve and, and move forward as a team. Mike, I know we just kind of asked you about it the other day, but to get this win before facing – you know, West Virginia on Saturday, Baylor on Monday. What, what type of confidence does it give you guys? I mean, uh, just like we, we know we've been right there. And uh, we know we've been on the losing side of a lot of close games. And we know uh, that we could be anybody. And it, it feels good to get a win, uh, get some momentum, f just feel good. And now we got a, a challenge ahead of us, and we're going to prepare the best we can. Bruce for Mac to have another game with 10 plus rebounds. How big is that? And Monte with uh, nine. So both of those guys. And, and I've just – Got on Mac. All I care about is your energy and your effort. He got the jump ball. It's a really good sign. You know, he got it easily. We play. I watched the first game at their place, and they, and Doolittle beat him on the jump. So you know, it that to me it means he's ready. Uh, he had a big block. He got a foul on it. Um, you know, two fouls. He comes back. Two putbacks to start the second half. You know, we we shut them out. I think first five minutes, second half, and extend the lead. Um, and a lot of it because of his activity. He, he, it's, it's good for him. I, I, I said, finish the year 
you know, just be the one of the best rebounders. You'll get attention. Everyone wants attention. You know, that's a way to get it for him, and I'm happy he's kind of bought into that. You anticipate the way today went? You'll continue to roll with Dejuan as the starter? Great. Uh, I guess I'm brilliant. Uh, great jump starts into the start of game and start of the half, you know, and David sprained his ankle a little bit in the first half. Uh, we, we just said try it because uh, the f last week at Alabama, you know, he had three fouls, so we went with Cardi. So, it, you know, both those starts of the eight to two to start the game and six to nothing in the second half. So that's 14 to two is pretty good. So it was uh, good activity, good, good job for those guys and probably got to stick with it right now. You know, Cardi still plays. You know, 25, 25 minutes, get 16 shots up. So it's not like uh, we're keeping them on the bench too long, so. Hey, Mike, for you, I saw you wearing Kobe's tonight. You had a tribute on your shoe for Mamba, his daughter, and seven others as well on top of that. You lead the team in points. And on top of that, you get a couple threes, and you were pretty fired up after. You even had a shrug at one point. I saw that too. What do it mean for you tonight to go out and play like that, lead your team in points the first time after taking the court since Kobe's passing? I mean, uh. Uh, yeah, first of all, that's that's very it was very tragic. Um, I was really heartbroken by it. And then when I found out about his daughter, I mean, it really it really took a toll on me. And it was something that was hard for me to process. And it just it made me think, like, just have fun, enjoy every day, make the most out of it, because you never know when it's going to be your last day. And so I've really just been trying to have fun, enjoy myself, enjoy the game, enjoy teammates, coaches, everybody. And uh, today I made some shots. Next game I'm, might be defense or rebounds or something else, but it was fun. Uh, Mike, as a follow-up to that, can you, can you take me to the, through the play? They, they had just cut it to 11. And Cardi dishes it to you, and you're about five or six feet behind the three-point line. Uh, what made you think that was a good shot? And I guess would you have heard anything from Bruce if it hadn't gone in? Um, well, it went in, so I won't have to find out, thankfully. But, uh, I mean, I was just feeling like this is a comfortable shot. I had enough space, and I just let it fly. And, and then, Bruce, you know, between – Doolittle, Manic, and and Reeves, you know, they average more than 45 a game, and then you look at it, and they're at 23 total. What what did you guys do so well to contain those three tonight? I, you know, and I thought the first game we did a pretty good job until the last stretch on Reeves. Um, Doolittle got to the free throw line the first game; that was a difference maker. But Manic, we, you know, we switch on him, and he does. We don't give him the open looks. Uh, we get to him. We tell our. I thought our guys did a great job of scrambling, getting to the shooters making them make another play and then getting into the gaps. And then that's where we got some of those turnovers uh, and steals. So we were just active. Uh, I, I thought that was huge for us. And uh, Monte's very versatile on defense. And, you know, you look at the plus minus, it, you know, Monte's plus 10 and Days one's plus 12. And, you know, that that's those are good numbers for a freshman. And uh, both of them give us good activity. And then, you, you know, you got Mike's, I've always said he's one of our better defensive players coming in off the bench. Uh, gives us, you know, I thought we had good balance numbers minute-wise. And I know he said he's not tired, but he was tired in the first half. Mike was. And um, he hit that he hit that one three. And, but he, we had some guys having a struggle and get back on defense. So I, I like the minutes, the balanced minutes. That, that helps. Maybe Xavier a little too much. But... Uh, you know, I guess we depended on him so much with the, without Antonio playing a little bit of four also. Uh, you talked earlier about just taking it one possession and one game at a time, but it is back-to-back -back wins over two top half Big 12 teams at home, I guess, at least. Um, is this something you, you thought you guys were building towards or you didn't? You didn't? I just, you know, again, I, I said, I think, and Mike said it, we're, we think we're a good team. We just haven't done it. We haven't done it consistently. Now can we can we make a run here in the second half? And you know, have some things go our way, uh, you know, it, it, but all you can worry about is getting ready for West Virginia. You know, we, tomorrow will be very, very light. We'll practice early Friday morning, fly there, uh, two o'clock game, uh, you know, hey, fight our butts off, see what we can do. And uh, we'll not, we know it's not going to be easy, especially the way we beat them the first time. But hopefully we have some good idea of how to com combat them and defend them and, and what, what we can do to get you know, score on them, and uh, and obviously, 
you know, you got then you got Monday again. So, it, but we just we just got to worry about West Virginia. One game at a time, each possession. Come ready to play, and that's all we can do. Bruce, have the the freshmen made progress as far as defensive concepts? I think they have, and David has. Oh, you know, there's no doubt. And you know, I, I and I harped on you know David all the time with you guys that. You know, he, he's he's really – he's trying. He's not beautiful and not perfect on D, but, but he's trying and he's giving a much better effort, uh, which is really helps us. And then I think Dejuan is understanding concepts, uh, you know, rotations. And Monte's been the one that's been pretty solid. He gives us a versatile four that can switch ball screen, stay in front of people. Um, so it, I, we've made some strides. I don't think there's any doubt, um, you know, that – you know, even against Alabama, you know, who's, I, I thought if we wouldn't turned it over some of those times where we just got pick sixes, you know, we probably held them, you know, in the 60s or, you know, something like that. So uh, I, I hope we made strides. We'll see Saturday because West Virginia can, they can score some points also and they give you a whole different dynamic with those two big guys inside. And Mike, what have you seen as far as Dejuan and, uh, David uh, making progress defensively, uh, ball denial, playing passing lanes, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, really, they've just been they've been learning. And uh, as any freshman comes in, they struggle a little bit, but uh, they've been real. They've been real. Uh, they've soaked everything up, and they've made some mistakes uh, in the past this season. And they're really starting to learn from them. And uh, coaches really got on us for you know, being more coachable and listening, including the young guys. And they really took that to heart, and they've really improved from it. Mike, did sitting out those games give you more of a fire to come back and play a little bit better these last two games? Um, of Not as much a fire, but just like really just wanted to enjoy it and just have fun, knowing that, I mean, I'm ending my junior year, only got one more year after this, and it's not much time left, and I'm, I'm going to – I'm blessed to be in the position I am, and uh, I just want to ha make the most out of it and have fun and do whatever, do whatever it takes to try to help the team win because that's what we're going to look back on. Bruce, how much do you think he's helped the lineup since uh, he came I, back? You know, he, one, he's our best shooter, right, if you look at the stats for the season. So that obviously helps. He, he has, he's, you know, he has been one of our better defenders. So, you know, you get some versatility on both those things. Um, you know, it helps with our minutes, I, I hope. Uh, you know, Xavier probably pushed it, as I mentioned, because we had to play him at the four, um, you know, tonight. So, you know, I, I'm just happy because he sat in the – literally sat in the dark for six, seven days. I mean, it's just – it's hard. It's no fun. And I think when people take something away from you, like he didn't get to play, I think you appreciate it more. You, uh, you're you more apt to come back and with a, a good, fresh attitude. Um you know, and then he talked about, obviously, to Kobe, and we talked about, you know, hey, uh, you know, life is not always fair. And, and you know, and, and I, I pre really appreciate not only Kobe, but his daughter and all the other people. And, you know, it's just, it's just a sad, sad thing. And, you know, enjoy life. Enjoy every day. Make the most of it. Uh, don't fight the little things. Uh, you know, enjoy what you have and count your blessings. And this is also back-to-back -back games where both uh, Xavier and Cardi put up a lot of shots, not really the most efficient nights. What would you t say to them about shot selection moving forward? I I'd like them to be a little more efficient, and I've said it since the beginning. Um, you know, it, some of them we had shot clocks in the second half uh, because we were trying to run some offense, and they had to put some tough ones up at the late. But there's a, you know, a few each guy, two or three each guy, that if we can – be a little more patient and you know like Mike's shot was a long three but he had his feet he had his he was balanced you know and we if we can just get to a point where we are a little more patient take balanced shots make the defense break down I think it's it's going to help us it's going to help them and it's going to help us and um, you know but we'll we'll see hopefully they'll we keep getting better uh, what's um with West Virginia, what's it going to take for you guys to be able to duplicate that effort? Special effort, there's no doubt. Um, you know, it, it's not like I don't know if we caught them off guard the first time or we just did what we were, we were supposed to. We had a great game plan. We fought them. 
from the beginning, we, we, we had lots of deflections. Um, we we had it made it tough for them to get in their offense. It helped, obviously, Oscar, I think, get two fouls. First half, we had the big run. Dejuan was special. You know, tonight, Mike was special. And, you know, if you you probably need somebody to step up, maybe two guys on the road step up and, and really make some, some special plays to give you a chance. So, Xavier, senior year, obviously he's coming up on some different milestones. Could you just maybe – Offer a couple words on what Xavier's meant to this program. Well, he's he's you know one he's uh, you just appreciate what he's about what he what he stands for he he works very hard he's you know he's going to graduate school of business like Mike is going to do also um, you're proud of that you're proud of for his family how his work ethic you know what he's been about and I you know this year I think he's put a little too much pressure on himself I and we talk about enjoying life enjoying the game I think that's one thing I, I wish he would just relax a little bit, even the free throws at the end of the game, just take a deep breath. You've been there. You've made free throws in big games before. Uh, you know, just, uh, you know, have poise, have confidence. Act, you know, what coaches always say, act like you've been there before. He's been there. Cardi's been there. You know, just, and that's what we need if we're going to move forward and make some progress.